Good Thursday morning and welcome back to the office. We are almost done with the work week. We're definitely over the hump and we're looking pretty close to the weekend at this point. Uh, this morning we're going to continue on in our Thanksgiving and prayer idea study. Uh, we're going to be looking at the book of Philemon. I challenge you if you have time to read all 25 verses of the book. It's a nice short letter from Paul. And uh, so this morning, grab your morning beverage and set a spell and let's see where God's word takes us. So as I said, we're going to continue our Thanksgiving um, and pray and prayer and praise idea that we've been kind of tracking on for the last week or so. Um, and then well, today we're going to look at being thankful for the, the, the Christian people that God's put in your life, the, the church people that you've been with uh, and, and so forth. So let's see what Philemon has to say. In verse 4, it says, I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers. Because I hear about your love for all his holy people and your faith in the Lord Jesus, I pray that your partnership with us in the faith may be effective in deepening your understanding of every good thing we share for the sake of Christ. Your love has given me great joy and encouragement because you, brother, have refreshed the hearts of the Lord's people. I think it's really easy to take for granted the the, the people that we go to church with. Um, sometimes walking in the door and getting that handshake is, is a big pick-me-up uh, for the week. And I understand with COVID, you know, shaking hands is, is kind of hard. But maybe that smile that you can't see or the look in their eye or something. But in a normal situation, uh, I know that I look forward to seeing as many, many of you as I can. And I understand I'm in a unique situation being in pastoral ministry. I get to, to really meditate and marinate on uh, on the, the relationships we have with I have with people here at this church, um, but I, I challenge you to do the same thing. Um, I know that being a preacher's kid and, and a military person, I, I've been all over this country, and it's interesting the the amount of people that I I have friends with, stayed friends with in, in different areas, especially the Christian people, you know, fellowshipping with different churches. It's, uh, it's interesting to, to really keep track of folks and understand that maybe at the time you didn't understand the impact that they had on your life. But now looking back, you're, you're really reflective and appreciative of, of the sacrifices they made, the works that they put in that ended up being, um, fruit in your life. And I'm sure we all can agree can reflect on somebody, whether a Sunday school teacher or maybe a VBS lesson or a sermon you heard or, you know, a deacon or an elder or somebody that you, you really looked up to that have re has really cultivated something in your life that it's put you in a position where you are now as a Christian. And it's important that we, we not only express our thanks to God for these people, but reach out to them. Let them know the, the depth of everything that they've they've meant to you it's it's very important that uh, you never know when somebody really could use that pick me up and knowing that 20 30 years ago that something that they did has set you on a path um, for the kingdom of God it's also as we uh, as we reflect on on people that we've lost you know we go we go into churches on Sunday and um, some of those empty pews speak really louder, much louder than the full ones. And we know that they're, they've gone on to their reward and it's, it's reassuring. But at the same time, you don't really realize the impact that they had on your life until they're no longer with you. And it could be somebody that you haven't seen in 20 or so years that you know, has passed. And now you're reflecting back on the impact they had on you as a kid or, or even as a young adult. So as we go this as we go forward this week i want you to to truly show your appreciation for the saints that have have not only gone on before us but the saints that are among us that have made a difference in our lives and are continuing to make a difference in our lives so let's go to the lord in prayer heavenly father god we come to you on this thursday morning and we're so thankful we're so thankful for the men and women that you have placed in our lives that have made a difference for us for your kingdom, Lord. It's it's easy sometimes to, to understand your love and your glory when we look at people around us, Lord. It's uh, To be that example is what we all strive for, Lord. And I ask 
that you give each and every one of us the, the wisdom and the understanding to not only be that person, but to show appreciation to those people in our lives. Lord, I ask that you lead, guide, and direct our steps, our thoughts, and our words as we go through the coming days and lead us back here safely, whether tomorrow morning or Sunday morning or back on Monday. Lord, we thank you for all of these things and all this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Tomorrow morning, if I get a video in, it will be from my couch or my couch or my porch, depending on the temperature. Um, but Fridays, uh, Morgan and I have, have started really spending some time together with the two of us and the baby. So I can't guarantee there'll be a Friday video, but if not, I will see you all on Sunday morning here at church and on Monday here in the video. So I'm going to do a shameless plug again for Sunday morning. Sunday morning, please come join us at 9 o'clock for Sunday school or 10 o'clock for worship here at First Christian Church in Port Arthur. Uh, this Sunday I'm going to be preaching and I'm going to be talking about unconditional gratitude. So it's going to kind of tie in a lot of what we've been talking about and even going further than that. So if you want to read ahead, we'll be in the main text will be in Psalm 100 and then we'll branch out from there. As always, have a terrific Thursday and remember you are greatly blessed and highly favored.